Hello all, I'm Ajit Khan and in this tutorial we are going to see how to encrypt an unencrypted volume in AWS. So let's start. Uh, we don't have an instance running so let's launch an instance which is going to have unencrypted volume. So let's launch with the default configurations and here you can see the root volume is uh, not encrypted so so we can't encrypt this uh, let's add a volume which will be on slash dev as db and uh, uh, you can change it like anything and uh, if you are spawning a new instance and you want to have your newly created volume to be encrypted then you can check this checkbox and uh, uh, for now we are going to leave this unchecked as we are going to encrypt this volume later so let's go ahead so now leave it at, leave it for the security group to be open for 22 port We are launching this. So we have two block devices. This one is the root volume, and this is the secondary one, which is not yet encrypted. If we go and check on the volumes, we have two volumes. This is the root one, and this is the secondary storage. And if we check here, both of them are not encrypted. So there is no KMS ID. So it has been launched and uh, now we need to make this 10 gigs volume to be encrypted. So select this, create a snapshot of it, name it as Christian volume. And GD. And just create it. So the snapshot has been created. Let's see. So this is the snapshot. Now we need to copy this to create an encrypted one. Now here you need to check this encryption to uh, encrypt it. So the snapshot copy is done. We can go ahead and check it out. So this is the snapshot available and this is encrypted. Now we can create a volume out of it. and it is going to be an encrypted one uh, you can also change the size of the volume so let it be as it is for now the volume has been created and uh, we can go to the volume tab and see so we have one more 10 gigs volume and it is available for you since we have not attached it yet and it is the encrypted one so let's rename it to be encrypted uh, for now this has two block devices this is the root one we are going to change this one with the encrypted one so stop the instance
one more point to be taken care of is if you are planning to take uh, AMI out of uh, current instance which have un unencrypted volume then the AMI cannot be launched with the new volumes to be encrypted if the old volumes are unencrypted that means suppose we have this instance with unencrypted volume and we are launching an AMI out of it then there comes an option to make the volumes encrypted then you could even check the encryption checkbox there then the uh, AMI la launched out of it won't have the encrypted one because the current instance should have encrypted volume in order to make an AMI which which uh, which is gonna have encrypted one so that's stopped now let's let's detach this one Sorry. before that it was on HDB okay let's detach both of them are available now we can attach this one Oh, so the volumes needs to be in US East 1 and uh, we do not have instance in US East 1. So let's go ahead and check it. US East 1C. So the instance is US East 1C. So we need to create the volume in US East 1C. So this is uh, another limitation or you can see a feature too. Let's change it to US East 1C and create it. This is the volume. US East 1C encrypted volume. Now this one will get attached because they are in the same region. We have it in stance. So it will be attached on slash tv as tv. Now we can start the instance. volume region see two of them are in use and this is the one we will launch in US East 1C region and uh, it is encrypted one so it also have KMS ID associated with it so uh, AWS manage the uh, KMS ID on its own so you don't have to worry about it and uh, uh, there is no much performance issue regarding encryption and decryption of the data uh, AWS handle it handles it on its own so you don't have to worry about it so we have our instance up and running with the secondary volume being encrypted so this is the case where you can afford downtime and you can create a snapshot copy the snapshot create a volume out of it and attach it back to the instance and uh, in case of like elastic search cluster mongodb cluster where you can't afford downtime and you need to encrypt the data volumes associated with the data nodes there you need to follow some other procedure uh, for that i have created a blog post too where you can safely remove an elastic search node and add a new one with the encrypted volumes so here's the complete procedure or the method you need to follow for the same you can reach out for this on how to remove node from Elasticsearch without affecting cluster or without downtime. So that's it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching.